This is the biggest waste treatment or poop to barrier plant in the U.S. The facility is quite close to Potomac River and a residential area. And to be honest, it's a bit smelly. But it's worth the effort. Most of the human waste from Washington, D.C. is transformed into water, plant food and even electricity. Excrement is stored in rows of massive tanks. The two and a half million residents in the U.S. capital work tirelessly to keep them full. Everyone, from cleaning ladies, food sellers, congressmen and even the president do their part. But how the system works? Well, after several levels of filtering, the waste is separated. The bacteria in solids under high temperature and pressure converts into biogas, which can be used to generate electricity. Microbes here actually convert the material to methane gas. And so that's what it's doing in 20 days. The, the, the bugs are munching and they're essentially giving off gas. The liquid is then purified, but according to the American standards, it's not drinkable. But sometimes the water is sent to desert areas of the U.S. or flushed into the river. When it leaves the plant, it looks crystal clear. So we put it back Could in we the... Could drink it? Uh, under our current regulations, mm -hmm. uh, our EPA says you can't drink it. Okay. But there are places in the United States that do blend it with their drinking water and drink it. They add an additional process to it but it's exceptionally clean product at the end. The facility produces enough energy to provide 10,000 households with the power. This complex costs half a billion dollars annually to run. Ecologists calculate that it's cheaper to invest that money in this plant than it would be to build a regular waste treatment facility. If the American capital's population is going to grow, this poop to power plant will not only work for self-sufficiency but could also sell electricity.